Okay, hold on. How's it supposed to be? Does this look right? Don't look at my nails. How's it supposed to go, y'all? This ain't a fashion channel. Just let's just get okay. Whatever. It, it, Two thousand years later. Hi, yi, 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 yi. Welcome back to another episode of Every Freaking Wednesday. Welcome back to Nelly Bill. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thick thumbs up, and go ahead and share the video. Leave a comment. All those other things. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. I, let's call that an intro, and let's just get right into. Two thousand years later. And I'm back. If you've seen the little thumbnail, you've seen the title, you kind of, you might already have a little bit of a feel of what are we getting into today. I need to talk about influencer, YouTuber, friendships, relationships, collabs, what happens. They start out on Kiki, they start out good friends, they make these videos together, they make these collabs, we fall in love with them, they become this unit, a powerhouse. And they make all this content together and then boom, they just, man, I don't like her, I don't like him, well, she, this and that, that was fake. And then us, we're left to pick sides. Do we want to be friends with them? Do we want to support this person? And I, you, you know, it's stressful on us, the viewers, the followers, to watch these people become friends, make all this great content, and we love it so much, and then they just take it away from us. Now look. That's just part of life. We outgrow each other. True colors start to come out. Sometimes you know that most healthy thing that you can do is just cut somebody off. What you put online, what these influencers and the creators and the things, what they put online, you know, we don't get the whole story. And then we're just kind of left having to decide this person's truth versus this person's truth and whatever actually happened. Okay, so is that enough of a preface of what it is that I'm really trying to get to here? Uh. I ha I'm trying desperately to get to the point. Uh. Um. Rich Lux. Luscious Massacre. <sighs> there is a feud between them. Now look, most of it is old tea, but I kind of feel like some of us getting fired back up. And I don't really, I'm just, who this hurt? Lord, I have my, hold on one second. Six hours later. There is a feud going on. Most of it is old tea, but it, it seems, I feel in my spirit, like it just ain't over. I feel like there's words that, that I ha still need to be said. I feel like there's some closure that is missing. Now, is that to say that there's closure that needs to be had in front of all of us? Um, not necessarily, but I feel like... I feel like conversations need to be had so that both of them can let it, really truly let it go and figure out what in the world happened. I enjoy so much when they were friends and collabing and, I, and I'm and i still fans of both of them and it's it's hard because you, uh, do y'all, y'all get what I'm saying? You love two people or two groups of people and they do all these videos together and then you love it and then they stop working together and you feel like you want have to choose. Which you can't, I know you don't have to, but then a part of you kind of feels disloyal because you support both of them. And it's just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I would live to see the two of them sit down on camera and just go back and forth. Not in like a messy way. A lot of this stuff could get squashed and just really tell each other about themselves and really get to the bottom of things because I think, this is what I think. A lot of people got into the air of luscious and I think a lot of people got into the air of rich. And I think that both of them said and did some things that they wish they didn't do or say. I don't think either one of them is 100% innocent, but I think that it did get blown up and it just it is sad to see two people who are relatively from the same place you know rich lux is is, is uh, a more of a, a houston pasadena doll whereas luscious is is more of the uh, uh you know the valley doll you would just like to see two people who who are in a lot of ways who are cut from the same cloth be able to come together and support each other and remain 
you know, to really, to stick, to stick together. Oh, but when you around people and they stirring some stuff up. And I think that both of them have some unresolved issues with that friendship because I do think that they were really, really close. And I do think that they, they made amazing content. I, and I, I don't think that they should have been the ending of, it, of that friendship, at least not like that. If they outgrew each other, then okay, that's fine. I think that a lot of people were jealous of Luscious Masker and Rich Lux and they saw the powerhouse that they were together and I think people came in and made sure to destroy it. Deep down I think that Rich and Luscious, um, I think they were really hurt by each other. I think they both got hurt. I think that they both wanted to make it work and move on because they are both so sweet. And they are both so creative and so talented. And like I said, I think they both did and said things that were a little shady, a little harsh, a little, a little wrong, a lot wrong. But at the end of the day, they have seen both seem like really genuine, um, good people. Well, I think the fans, too, contribute to that as fans do. It would be a great example if the two of them t could get together and sit down and have a round table. Not even just for the entertainment of it, because let's be honest, it, it would be entertaining. But I think that it would set a really good example for people to see like, okay, we had our differences, but this is us sitting down like adults. This is how adults have conversations and work things out. I think it would be a, ni a nice, clearly feelings are still hurt and people still feel some type of way. Anyways, I, that, that's, I just, I just, it, it was on my mind I, and I just keep thinking about it. I, I just really like them both. Am I wrong for liking them both? I'm going to keep, keep an eye on uh, the two of them because it's still something to ruin. And last thing I have to say, somehow secretly behind closed doors, I feel like they might still be friends. Go ahead and give this video a big fat that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe, share the video, leave me a little comment, and um, baby, that's all I have for you today. Just some questions. <laughs>